soon-to-be Supreme Court Justice Katanji Brown-Jackson has said she stands on the shoulders of another trailblazing black woman. That's Constance Baker Motley. Sixty years ago, Motley argued a historic case involving James Meredith, who was the first black student at the racially segregate, segregated University of Mississippi. Tarika Duncan caught up with Meredith and a Washington girl who already sees her own place on the high court. Jerika, good morning to you. What are they thinking at this very historic moment? Yeah, you can only imagine, as we've yeah. seen a lot of people excited about this, there's clearly no shortage of people who have expressed what this confirmation means to them. So we wanted to get a unique perspective, not only from a young person, but from someone who has seen a lot of firsts and knows the power in pursuing a dream, no matter how long it takes. For the many who cheered for confirmation, they finally got their justice. For 88-year-old James Meredith of Mississippi, Constant Baker Motley comes to mind when he thinks about the next Supreme Court justice. She is almost like a Judge Motley, except she's not as tall, but she seems to be as smart. I share a birthday with the first black woman ever to be appointed as a federal judge the Honorable Constance Baker Motley. As an attorney for the NAACP Legal Defense Fund, she was the first African-American woman to argue before the Supreme Court, ultimately winning nine of her 10 cases, including an historic no, victory that involved James Meredith back in 1962. The crowd had come to see him turned away. The Supreme Court ruled Meredith had a right to attend the University of Mississippi, making him the first black student to do so. Meredith says Thursday's confirmation and the fulfillment of the president's promise was decades in the making. The black woman has always been the one that's been left out. We have a, a woman vice president. We have a woman ambassador to the UN, but I still think in American reality, the Supreme Court justice is the biggest uh, thing, not just for a woman, but for anybody, and particularly for a young woman. Even as young as Madison Morgan. Dear President Biden, hello. I'm an 11-year-old girl from Washington, D.C. In February, she penned a letter to President Biden, saying in part, I had heard that you wanted to appoint a black woman, and well, that's me. But like any good justice, Morgan knew the Constitution doesn't require a minimum age or even a law degree to serve on the Supreme Court. It started in like fourth grade where I saw that there weren't many requirements to be a Supreme Court justice. So I just thought, well, I shoot my shot. While Morgan didn't make the cut, she did make it to the first day of the hearings. What was that like to be invited? It was absolutely crazy. It made me feel like I was honorable and important. It's hard for me not to look at you and not see my mom. I see my ancestors and yours. When you look at her, what do you see? I see a woman with passion and a dream. A dream that James Meredith says he envisioned when he dared to challenge a system because it was never just about him. It was about justice for all. They, the young black women, are the future. My great hope is that every black woman will be inspired by Miss Brown Jackson to the extent that they will take the torch and run with it. Wow, he had so much more to say. It was an honor to speak with both Meredith uh, Mr. Meredith and Madison as well. Both had such different takes, um, no doubt inspired by what they saw yesterday. Of course. And, yeah. uh, watching the hearings. And also, some people that were inspired, my grandmother and my aunts were able to attend oh, uh, wow. the first hearing. There they oh, are wow. right there. Oh, wow. I know Doris McQuaid Duncan's going to flip out when she sees her <laughs> picture on TV. Which one is she? Which She's is... right there at the bottom, sitting with the shades oh, on the her shades. hat. There oh. she is. Oh. Very aunts nice, Dorica. As well. Listen, we have not heard the last of Madison Morgan either. And no, I love hearing haven't. what She's Mr. So Meredith has to say about what this means. I mean, you can't help but look at it and think, I'm so sorry it took this long. Yeah. When you look at the course of history, it's really sorry that it took this long, but so glad that it has finally happened. Yeah. Yeah. And people have pointed out she's unlikely to change the ideological shift yes. of, the, of the court, but for the first time in the 230-year history of the Supreme Court, yes. 
the majority will not be white men. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gotta start somewhere. Like and and one, yes. start somewhere. one image yeah. comes to mind. You remember the committee testimony where her daughter, 17-year-old daughter I Layla, was looking deep. at her mother, yes, the just way she yeah. smiled. beaming yes. with pride. It seems yes. like collectively, as a country, we are all beaming yeah. with that same pride. Such a good Absolutely. analogy. I love that picture. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, Julia, thank you very much.